Hi, I'm Helen Mirren and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar to show you what's inside. Well, I don't call it my beauty bag, I call it my swagger bag because it gives me swagger. Cool bag from Columbia Market. First thing that comes up, <laughs> tea bags. <laughs> Not to put over my eyes, but actually to drink because you can never have good tea when you're traveling. So I always have tea bags in my beauty bag. I would tell my younger self, let go of it. Let go of the concept of beauty. Think of confidence. As I say, think of swagger, my swagger bag. It makes me feel good. Um, but let go of the concept of beauty. Enjoy beauty where you see it, absolutely. But let go of it for yourself. Don't let it influence your thinking in any way. A real old favorite, absolute necessary. Every hairdresser uses this um, L-net and this is a nice little one so I can travel with it. This is an oldie but goldie. You can tell from the picture of the woman on there, I don't know if you can see it, it's sort of like a sort of 1960s picture. <laughs> but um, this is a great product. You look good for your age. It's patronizing, it's insulting. We hate that comment. <laughs> we really hate it. And be prepared if you use that phrase to be um, dissed in a major way. What else have we got? Ah, I always carry a hand cream with me because one's hands, especially when you travel, get very dry. This is a great hand cream. Waleda, it's a fabulous product, this. And just to freshen your hands up, make them nice and moist. The person who inspires me the most as far as beauty is concerned, I would say is David Beckham. Just because he's so beautiful. And also, he's always mixed it up, hasn't he? He shaved his head, then he had a mohawk, and then he had long hair, and then he, and, um, but somehow he does it without affectation. So he, He's very into it, but it somehow it's not self-conscious or affected with him. I mean, I just love David Beckham, full stop, really. And Victoria, incidentally. Now, rosy oil syrup. This is particularly lovely because it gives you this, this very, very light sort of color. But it's quite recently that I've been using this. It's only, I think it's only come out in the last year. I don't know, I'm not very on top of things. I've only discovered it in the last year, let's put it that way. And um, that's something I really, really like. And to go with that, incidentally, we've got Golden Age Perfect. This again has got that lovely, that. So you're moisturizing your face, but at the same time, giving it a, just a lovely, you look like you've just had the best night <laughs> that you've ever had. You have this lovely rosy glow, which is very pretty. I think what we need to tackle ageism in general in our society is to see more and more women in the world of politics, in the world of the professions, lawyers, doctors, obviously teachers in the world of education, professors in the world of sciences, and my heart sings when I'm watching maybe a, a program about marine biology and the world expert in marine biology comes on the television and it's a woman. And it would not be a 25 year old woman. It would be a 55, 65 year old woman. That's what we need. We need those faces of authority, of success in life. Um, and there are many of them. There are many of them out there. And I've always said as an actress, you know, don't worry about roles for women in drama, worry about roles for women in real life. That's where we need to recognize women's achievements. Oh, I usually carry a little nail polish just to, of the color that I've got on, just, just in case, you know, they, I mean, my nails are normally terrible. In fact, you know what, I'm going to put some on right now because my nails are a little bit dodgy. And this is why I carry this with me. So I can just add and just freshen them up, makes them look like they've just been done. I usually do my own nails, quite honestly. I don't have like gorgeous nails, so it's hardly worth taking them to a, a nail technician. Although I have to say, nail technicians are wonderful and they really transform your nails. I do go, obviously, sometimes and have them done, but not always. Now this is very interesting. And I do like to travel with this because 
You know, when you're traveling, all sorts of things can happen to your skin. You can get a, a rash or, a, you know, something can go wrong. And this is called Active Silver, and it's like a silver collodial. It's got this sort of gel. A little dab of that on if you have a, a rash or a, something going wrong with your skin, dry patch. This stuff just magically sort of resolves it. So this is called Active Silver, and I do recommend that. This I always travel with, which is um, vitamins, because it's as important to make the inside of you as healthy as the outside of you. This is probably the most important thing in my beauty bag, actually, because um, what you eat, what you drink, what you don't smoke, hopefully, really makes a massive difference to your to your skin, especially as you progress through life. So. Um, incredibly important to feed the inside of your skin as much as the outside of your skin. I like a sauna. I don't know if that counts as a, as a beauty treatment or a, a sauna or, or a steam bath or both. I don't go to have a lot of beauty. Uh, in fact, I sort of never go to have beauty treatments, you know, facials and stuff like that. Although I have to say, when I do go, I go, oh, I should do this more often because actually this looks amazing. I think just to have a good old sweat <laughs> is, is quite a good thing. Oh, lovely, a mister. And this mister is, um, is called Rose Hydrating. It's just got this gorgeous rose smell. So you're misting your face, but then you have this beautiful, not perfume, just lovely smell of roses, which very pretty. Oh, uh, my perfume, which is a Jo, jo Malone. Love all the Jo Malone perfumes, they're wonderful. Oh, yes, this is, uh, Blackberry and Bay, lovely. I think I've got it on now. Yes, I have. It's gorgeous. They're just nice, light. You don't overpower anyone with it. And they're, they're just sort of natural human, somehow human perfumes, if you know what I mean. Not too heavy. It's like everything. I change everything all the time. I never stick with one thing. And I, I love new products. I can't, you know, very exciting. But um, I, I don't have a, a signature scent, um, no. It's always something different. <laughs> I always want to have something that I can put on my lips, that I can put on my lips without looking in the mirror. And it can just, that's all you need to do. Just, it's really important to have something you can put on without having to look in the mirror. I don't like all that looking in the mirror business. I get made up all the time. I get made up as characters, and then I get made up as myself. I'm always very free. I never tell a makeup artist what to do. I say, do what you like. You know, do what you think is the right thing to do because, uh, you know, makeup artists are creative. They're artists, and I love to see what someone else might make of my face. They might put a heavy eyebrow on, which I would never think of doing, and then I look and I go, oh, that's interesting. And the world of makeup is has just advanced astronomically. You know, I I watch the the program Glow with um, with my friend Val on it. And it's amazing what those young make makeup artists do. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for watching me and my swagger bag.